Steve Rosenberg. I'm the chief of the surgery branch at the National Cancer Institute at the NIH. Many research grants that one gets are for a few years. People have to submit the grants in areas where they feel fairly confident they're going to make progress. But when one has a funding source that can last longer, that can give one the freedom to adventure into new areas, then I think that's a formula for, for new advances that can take us in entirely, entirely productive directions. I've been emphasizing for the last several decades a different kind of approach to immunotherapy. And that is taking advantage of the body's own natural immune defenses to treat the disease. Now, the major body defense against disease, generally infectious diseases, is the immune system and it's the lymphocytes, the white blood cells that circulate in the body. There are about a million of them for every thimble full of blood. They're the warriors of the body. They recognize what is not normal in the body and can recognize and attack it. Now, the immune system can find a cancer as different than normal and raise an immune reaction against it, these lymphocytes, but they're too weak to keep the cancer from growing. The approach that I've taken has been referred to as adoptive cell therapy, where you isolate the lymphocytes, these immune warriors that can recognize the cancer, you further educate them or genetically engineer them outside the body in the laboratory, and then grow them to large amounts and return them to the patient under appropriate uh, conditions. And the first time that was ever done with our studies in 1988, we then uh, performed the first studies of the genetic engineering of lymphocytes, that is inserting new genes into lymphocytes to create cells that never existed before in the course of evolution. And that ultimately led to CAR T cells. We were the first to treat successfully a patient with CAR T cells in 2009. Uh, and six years later, uh, Kite Pharma and Novartis received FDA approval to offer this, and it's now being offered to thousands of individuals around the, around the country and, in fact, in the world as well.